storm was crazy for a second, uh, not so crazy anymore. I think I fogged up my lens. Just by opening up the door, that's how humid it is outside. Every time I start uh, thinking, oh, there's like a dragonfly out there, you guys probably won't be able to see it. He's like out on one of those branches. Anyway, every time that I think about like, oh, it's, I need to film something for tonight, all that I can do is just think of uh, eastbound and down. Eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking. Are we gonna do what they, can, they say can't be done? That's, that's it, that's all that is coming to my head at the current moment it's disgusting outside it's like half rainy half done being rainy and i'm not like i i normally don't work on mondays but i have to work tomorrow and i have to open tomorrow like first thing in the morning waking up 5 a.m yeah and so i'm not like i don't want to go out i don't want to do anything i know that i i should because i want to like be exciting and uh, yolo carpe diem seize the day but i'm gonna look at maybe i'll look on the internet and see if there's anything for me to like go and do that won't be hindered by this disgusting weather you guys remember that time that we tried to uh clean a silver bowl by using baking soda and stuff it didn't work but i did read online how to clean pennies with uh vinegar and salt you guys want to try that here's everything that you're going to need this is a quarter cup of white vinegar this is a teaspoon of salt, and these are five dirty old pennies. Dirty old pennies, really dirty. And so what they say to do is to add the vinegar to the salt, and then mix it up, which I got my little... They said to use a non-metallic bowl, so that's why I'm using this uh, plasticky doohickey. To stir it up. I made a slight mess, but we're in luck because we need a paper towel to uh, dry the pennies on. So, after you stir it a little bit, now it's, it's mostly, oh no, it came back out. It's mostly a solution. Just stir it with my finger. I don't even care. Probably not the, oh, it burns. That doesn't really burn. But, you can imagine if it did. Oh, it does. I got a cut on my finger and it's hurting like crazy. And then it says to pop the pennies in here. Drop them in. Drop them in. That's pretty crazy. Like you could see these front two like start to shine up right away. Here, I'll, I'm going to wait like a few, a little bit and then stir it up some more. Maybe get these dark ones cleaner. Here's the final outcome. The final outcome. I brought them up here into the super bright light so that you can see this one right here. Is pretty darn shiny, and they're they're uh, these were these were pretty old. This one's uh, 1964. This one was from 2000. How did that one get so dirty? 1974. I bet you I can't I can't even read what this one's from. I bet you I can't even read what this one's from. Oh no, I might be able to. Hold on. Hmm. I can't read it. These few shined up pretty good. Those two, yeah, not so bad. But these these three. I'm sorry, I said two. These three. Turned out pretty all right. Fun fact of the day, here comes the science coming at you full steam ahead. The whole reason that these, pe well, all right. So these pennies right here had a different dirt on them. These were oxidized, right? Oxidation is like rust. Rust is oxidation. When, uh, when steel rusts, it's being oxidized. So you can't have rust on steel unless there's oxygen. Oxidization. Yay! When you put the salt and the vinegar together, the vinegar is a little weak acid, and so the salt and the vinegar together start to remove what is called copper oxide from the outside of these pennies. So you don't have to have pennies. Anything that is copper will work because it's the oxidization of the copper. So if your coins at home, like wherever you're from, have copper in them, you can do the same thing. It doesn't have to be a penny. Funny thing is, we were supposed to rinse them off afterwards in order to get all of the vinegar and salt off. And because we didn't rinse them off, mine might not do it because I dried them off really well, but if you don't rinse them off, they'll start to form another chemical on top of them called uh, malachite or some, some other, I don't know. It'll be like a greenish blue. They'll start to change color again. It won't be the same tarnish. It'll be a different tarnish. It's still interesting. But if you take the same salt, salt the salt and vinegar, 
and you take some some random which I don't have any random nuts and bolts some steel nuts and bolts put them in there the acid solution of the vinegar and the salt together took a little bit of the copper a little tiny bit of the copper off the pennies and what it'll do is it will start to deposit that copper back on the nuts and bolts and you'll have a little tiny tiny bit of uh, a copper color to your nuts and bolts you guys should try that entire experiment right there with the cleaning of the pennies the turning them bluish green and then putting copper onto a nuts and bolts leave me a video response i think maybe like one or two people come on guys one or two people have left me a video response with them doing a science experiment for real leave me a video response it'll be fun i promise and on that note i'll see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price